<laughs> Here we are. <laughs> and we can turn around this planet as we would like to do. <laughs> Get different aspects and different views onto this nice planet here. <laughs> Get it back here, and uh, maybe as you see, it's uh, almost almost real time. You see the border of sunlight and shadow, day and night, and of course, in the background, you see the stars already. So this would be our home, obviously, and here, of course, this would be the home of the ESO telescopes that I was privileged to witness and to to visit a couple of weeks ago. Yes, but now it's time to leave the planet Earth and to spread out into space a little bit. But before it leave but before we leave it totally, I would like to introduce something which has um, an important meaning to us of course. As we are of course driven by sunlight that provides us with light, with colors with walls and which enables life per se on this beautiful planet. The sunlight is, in, in some terms, there is a little bit too much of energy which our human body wouldn't tolerate. So, as a kind of um, passengers of this planet, we need protection from the high level um, energy that comes from the sun. And this is uh, provided by the magnetic shield that is provided by the planet Earth. And here we would have this magnetic field which obviously operates like a shield for us. And here you can see uh, the dimension of this magnetic field as it reaches the, uh, <coughs> the pathway of the, of the moon easily. And if you want, you can take a quick tour through the magnetic field. <laughs> and everybody of you would like to is invited to step up and just walk through this magnetic field here. Personally, we can see the poles, concentrated magnetic fields. And it's dynamic, of course. It's not static, it's a dynamic field. Interacting with space. And when we now leave the planet Earth, obviously we get to see a lot of um, trajectories of the other planets. And hereby we can, when we look at this uh, this perspective, we can easily understand what the, um, um, the planetary plane looks like. We can see, okay, most of the planets, they obviously are really in this ecliptic plane, except for some. <laughs> You can see here Mercury, the inner one, slightly changing, and of course Pluto, which has been expelled from paradise, from the paradise of being elected to um, be identified as a planet. And uh, before we leave the, um, the solar system, maybe I would like to care for a quick tour through the planets. And we can have a look at one of those beautiful planets. And uh, let's start with planet Jupiter. Slightly turn him around. And join him on a Jupiter day. we can visit the other planets as well, like Saturn. Again. And we shall rotate this planet also. Now to see all the majestic beauty <laughs> So, some of you who are already inside of this virtual three-dimensional room are privileged now to sit within the rings of the, of the Saturn. And uh, we could eventually kind of comb ourselves 
with this ring, we can sense how thin it is, only one kilometer as you know. Okay. <laughs> and if anybody wants to, just step up and walk along, for example, along the Cassini uh, division. Or maybe you want to do something else like this. And I will comb you through a couple times. Or maybe I will have, I will let you jump to, in order to grasp for the ring. And as I said, still, there are some places on Earth who already have this uniform presentation, but this one is the only one where we have it on the wall and on the floor simultaneously. That's really unique. Okay. Okay. Here we can see, by the way, a couple moons. If you're lucky, maybe there is an, an eclipse going on right now. Obviously, this is not the case. All right, never mind. Maybe it's a good idea to now speed up time a little bit and get an idea of the dimension of the uh, relative speed of the planets. And we have prepared it like this here. Here we can see orbiting speed of the planets, differences. Look at the inner planets, compare it to the outer ones. We have now, what would you guess? What is the time scale right now? What would you guess? Any guesses? How many days per second? To make it easier for you. Days per second. It's about 10 days per second right now. So that's what we see. Now let's zoom out a little further with a spaceship that goes far, goes far beyond light speed. And let's make a halt for a couple of seconds. As we are such a um, curious um, being, human beings are extremely curious. You can tell that when you watch children, small children, when they start to kind of investigate the world they have been born into, they start crawling around and every once in a while they raise their hand, grasping for things, getting in touch with the cosmos they live in, getting in touch, sensing in terms of temperature and uh, quality of the surface, using the index finger, for example, with the highest resolution power of sensation. And uh, of course this habit stays when we are adults. Okay, we are not crawling around anymore, and we do not touch anything or anybody with a digit finger, hi, how are you, and, and stuff, but we kind of allow, elongate those fingers, and we invent special tools that serve us as elongated um, um, index fingers. And some of them are here, are visible. For example, some of those spaceships we have created to investigate the solar system, and we can see some of them here. We've just picked, up, picked out uh, the pioneers, um, as it would be a little bit too demanding for um, the computer cluster to show us all. And uh, as you see, we have uh, uh, labeled them in time, so we can find out where are they located right away, okay? And what we see is, even the pioneers, um, spaceships have already left the solar system. Okay. This could be a good time to kind of uh, pay attention to the background and what's going on in the background. Let's have a look at the star constellations. Let's zoom out a little bit more, maybe, and make another pause here. So, obviously, we have some constellations we are very well acquainted with. Let's turn it around a little in order to find one which I'm really looking for right now, because I would like to demonstrate something else. Obviously, the line. And uh, let's try to find it. Yes, here we are. That's what I was looking for. The Big Dipper, the Great Bear.